Guys, welcome to another edition of Monday Magic Moments. This is Coach James Short, and welcome. We are the last week of October. Can you believe it? November is around the corner, and Halloween this Wednesday night. Hope you've got all your little lollies out ready to go. Our kids are super excited about the trick-or-treating, so uh, our places around Botany and Sydney absolutely gets crazy. It's uh, so cool to see. Lots of, uh, lots of fun, lots of lollies. She's got to maintain uh, not too much sugar with, with the kids. Roberta, good to see you online, mate. Hope all is well. So today I want to share with you about how engaged are you? How engaged in what you do and what you learn? A little story to, uh, to segue this into this quick little uh, topic today is a number of years ago, I was fortunate enough to uh, help out the Rich Dad Paul crew, Robert Kiyosaki, <clears throat> and I was up on a, a live event up on the Gold Coast. This is, gosh, this is close to 15, 16 years ago. And um, what we did is I looked around. This was a, obviously I was on support crew. I looked around. There's, these people are coming in time and time again uh, to, to, to learn, to grow. And I start to question these people. So what have you done between the courses? What have you done between then and now? And you could see, you could hear the, 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 the blankness. And so what we did, what I actually did was I formed a relationship with, with nine other people who are actually from Sydney, but they're up on the Gold Coast at this event. And we formed a mastermind group. And what we did is that from that mastermind group, we met for, I think it was close to three years, every single fortnight. And we implemented our learnings. We implemented what we what were taught, what we learnt from previous courses, from books, from what we discovered throughout the fortnight. And being held accountable to a group was so powerful. Being held, knowing that you had to report in what you were going to do over the last fortnight was huge. So much different from, I guess, going one-on-one. That whole group environment where you had 10 people around looking at you going, hey, dude, you committed to this. What, what happened? What worked? This sort of led me to, to fast forward to today and how engaged are you? So we read books, we, we attend courses, we, we, can, you know, we partake in programs. But what do you do? What's your strategy to, to maintain your own engagement? What's your own maintain? How do you maintain your own engagement? What do you do once you read a book? Do you just go, mm, that was nice, put it back on the, on the shelf and, and away you go? Or do you actually take notes and do you highlight and you go, right, this next month I'm going to implement X? What do you do about your courses? What do you do about podcasts? How do you implement the material? Because knowledge is great. Knowledge is fantastic. But unless you have the implementation of that knowledge, it's just knowledge. And so I'm going to ask you guys today, how do you maintain your engagement? How do you ensure that you are engaged in what you do? And how do you ensure that you, you take that engagement and you take action? So there we go, guys. How engaged are you in what you do and what you learn? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your comments. Comment below in how you keep engaged and looking forward to speaking to you soon. Have a great week. Bye for now.